today I'm making a recipe for the first time. I'm actually not that hungry, so I'm just gonna have this is a one cut up mango and one banana. And instead of just having the banana alone, I decided to do the um, caramel sauce that everybody does and says it is so good. So I put it in here six dates, and I had some cinnamon and I have some vanilla extract. Um, and I'm gonna put a, have a cup of water and then do the Nutribullet and see how it comes out to see if I can put it between uh, each uh, banana and make it like a little sandwich. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so I made it and it turned out like this, I think. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of thick. Um, let me see if I can get a spoon. It tastes pretty good. I um, thought like when everybody made it, it looked darker. So this is the consistency of it. Let's see. So it's pretty thick. Um, I don't know if I made it in the um, in the neutral bowl. It would have been thicker, or I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of liquidy, and maybe I put too much. I didn't even put the half a cup of water. Maybe it wasn't half a cup of water. <laughs> I mean, it tastes. Uh, let's see. Mm. I definitely taste the cinnamon and the taste gives it a little bit of sweetness maybe maybe let's try it with a banana <laughs> let me put a little bit on, on the banana let's see I'm gonna put it a little bit here so it's like too liquidy to make it into a sandwich yeah I think maybe it was a half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon well I mean oh that looks so cute let's see Okay, not so cute now. I mean, a disaster. Okay. Oh. Uh. Mmm. Tastes really good with the banana. The the vanilla and the cinnamon gives it a little bit. Mmm. It tastes like a fall. Something I would like to eat in the fall, like November, or December. Not so much right now, but I'm gonna still eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna make the little sandwiches. What I may do is I may just plop um, a banana and I will put probably a dollop and then pick it up with a fork. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all these and um, do a last video. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I think it's going to be delicious. Um, here, let me... But I do have to say though, um, I had one only just now that I tried um, and it's so sweet. And I'm having that issue every time I put dates and stuff because to me dates are pretty sweet. <laughs> um, so, and I, there's still so much left in here too. Um, I wonder if I can freeze it. I don't know. So I'm going away tomorrow. But um, that's a lot. That's like yummy. Look. Um, but I think it's going to be too sweet to be honest with you, actually, now that I look at it. Even, that's not even the whole recipe. I put six dates, so that's probably three dates. I don't know. We'll see. But, let me try one more time. Oh, yeah, I, I see if any better to scoop it out like this. Oh, see? It's sweet. But then, once you start eating the banana... It like contra like acts the sweetness and it's more mush like you know okay I like it I may be too sweet to eat all of them with that on it but maybe I'll have some mango in between we'll see but it's delicious it's really really good if you're craving something really sweet <laughs> have this okay I cannot say how excited I am for what I'm about to make I don't know if you can tell want to make sushi um, I'm like so excited. So I had it once already pre-made. Uh, it had a lot of oil um, and I, you could feel it. So I'm excited to make my own. So let me show you what I've done so far. Um, I did the cauliflower rice. Um, uh, I think there's like, I would say a third of a head of a cauliflower in here. It's 300 grams. Um, and then I just um, squeezed a lemon and put a teaspoon of tahini, just to kind of make it a little more cohesive. Uh, and it gives it a really good taste, but that's all it is. And then for my filling, I have a little bit of um, shallots, 
like um, avocado, uh, carrot, cucumber, really thinly sliced, and um, red cabbage, so it's pretty colors. I do not have a raw nori. That's the only thing. I mean, I looked everywhere. I had to find it online, I think. Or there is um, an Asian rest, uh, grocery store that I haven't gone to that I'm gonna see if they have it, but this is the only one I could. At least it's organic. <laughs> Um, so it is toasted, um, but it's toasted dried, so I don't know, you guys tell me, I don't know, well, whoever knows, if, because I thought this brand was, some people used it for raw, but it doesn't say anywhere, it says toasted dry, so I'm thinking, is it like, toasted, like, I don't know, I have no idea, but it's, it's, it's organic, yeah, pre-toasted, I don't know, yeah, I think it's toasted, I don't know. But, because I, I think somebody said that the, the ones that are not toasted are um, black. And this one seems to be like the regular one. Why is it a little blue blackish? I have no idea. I mean, that's just going to have to give. Um, and I do have to say that one thing that I've tried so far that it's so good, I'm surprised, is the sauce that I made. In here, I put one tablespoon of um, low-sodium tamari, which is a, so a soy sauce to show you. Um, half a tablespoon of coconut aminos and half a lime and some grated ginger and it's so good I love the lime don't use lemon use lime because it gives it that tanginess with the coconut aminos mm -mm -mm, so good so yeah I am about to do this <laughs> let's um let me start let me set it up and try to roll it and I'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like um, before I roll it I know to leave a little bit of space here in the bottom and I don't know if I put too much of the rice but we'll see but I have everything laid right here in the middle and then I'm gonna roll it and then um, we shall see oh my god I think that's pretty perfect look at that really tight roll oh my god I can't wait to cut it and show you Ah, I'm like dancing. Okay, let me make some more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how amazing this looks. Oh my god, like. What? That looks like deliciousness. Look at that. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna cut them all. Um, and then eat them. I'll, send, I'll do one last video with all of them cut up. Actually, I'm just gonna um, do a quick, uh, beef. I'm not gonna, well, I mean, I only have one hand, so maybe I'm not gonna cut it, but when you're cutting sushi, you always wanna do the middle, then put the other one on the side, and then cut both at the same time, so everything's on the same size and the same length. Um, so cut in the middle. Here, I'll try to do it. Oh. Okay, let's see. There, okay. Cut in the middle. And we can see how amazing that oh my god look at that look at that holy carpola yes and then you put it on the side and then you cut both at the same time so everything's the same size okay so here we are well look how gorgeous this looks that is insanely amazing <laughs> like insanely amazing um yes yeah, so uh, I can't wait to try one. Let's try one. Uh, let's see. There's one. Okay, sauce. Stop. <laughs> it's gonna be my dinner every night. That was so good. That was so, so good. The one that I had uh, that was from the store, they put some nuts in it, which I may do, but that was so, so good. Um, and these middle ones, um, I ran out of um, the cauliflower, so I mixed the carrots and the cauliflower together. But they got, you know, stuck together really well, so I'm gonna go eat now. Because this is like insanely good. So, holy crap. <laughs>